A protest has taken place on the River Thames as rowers voice their anger at the ongoing closure of Hammersmith Bridge. It's two years since it was closed to the public over safety concerns and it's hit businesses, local residents and rowers hard. Luke Hanrahan reports from the river. Rowing boats can't go under it. Vehicles, bikes and pedestrians can't go over it. After cracks were spotted, Hammersmith Bridge was closed two years ago this week. For safety reasons, rowing boats are prevented from travelling beneath it, affecting London's many rowing clubs and leaving the Oxford-Cambridge boat race facing indefinite relocation. Once a year we get a chance to welcome this huge event to our bit of the river um, and it's, it's devastating it's not here. Not just because the rowers can't do the full boat race course, but for all the local amenities, for all the boat clubs, um, it's just awful. The only bridge of its kind in Britain, it was built in 1887, designed for horse-drawn carriages rather than heavy motor vehicles. What locals describe as political buck-passing has led to Hammersmith Bridge being closed indefinitely for schoolchildren and people who work at Charing Cross Hospital. What was once a 15-minute walk has turned into a three-mile journey down a towpath which regularly floods. The tide comes in twice a day on the Thames, and when the river's high, it leaves the path impassable. My place of work is literally on the other side. I mean, it's so frustrating. I've had to go and buy a car, I have to get into the flow of traffic. Do I want to? No, I don't. Two hours to work, two hours back. Thanks very much, but it just makes life impossible. The estimated bill for repairs is around £150 million. While the debate rumbles on as to who should pay for it, the stalemate continues, leaving normal life on hold. All these other businesses that need the river to be able to survive um, for their day-to-day -day goings on, and because of the bridge, it's, it's all been closed and they can't operate. Um, there's the historic boat race, which should have been happening here today. That can't happen, and if the government don't get their act together, it won't be happening again next year either. An impasse for rowers and a hindrance for Hammersmith Bridge users, who will have to continue to find alternative crossings for the foreseeable future. Luke Hanrahan, BBC London.